How are you, my friends? This is uh, algebra course. We are continuing, and this is lecture four. I just want to mention that the first four lectures, one, two, three, four, they are all the same topic, real numbers, fractions, sets, absolute value. And then next lecture, number five, we will move to integer exponent. So this is lecture four. All right, so lecture four is about absolute value. We start by defining the absolute value is the distance from zero to the number on the number line. So if you have a number five, so when we say find absolute value of five, it's the distance from five to zero or zero to five. When we say find the absolute value of minus six, the distance from zero to minus six is six. The absolute value of zero is zero. That's easy. Now, when you have a number, specific number, the absolute value is easy. This number can be positive, negative, or zero, as you can see in the first three examples. Now, let's look at the important definition here, absolute value of A in general. See, A now is variable A. This A can be positive, can be negative. So the absolute value of A is equal to A or minus A. Be careful, please, here. So if it is A, then A should be positive or zero. If it is minus A, A is negative, so that the answer is positive. So always the answer in the absolute value is positive. Now let's look at four examples here. If someone say absolute value of x is equal to x, see it looks nice, but that's false. We don't know what is x. x can be minus 7, x can be 8, x can be minus 12. Also, second one here, the absolute value of y is minus y. That's also false. Look how things can be true. Absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than zero. So you have to look at the condition, something we call condition. If x is positive, then the absolute value of x is equal to x. Let's see second one here. y is negative, then the absolute value of y is minus y. You see the difference in this slide? If you have a specific number, it's easy to answer. But if you have a variable, you need a condition. Again, if you have a variable in the A, in the absolute value, you need a condition to make sure this value is positive or negative. Let's see many examples. Now, this one, please. Find the value of the following. Remember, this is example 13, so we are continuing lecture three. Half, half here, times absolute value of minus half, that's absolute value, plus two times absolute value of minus two, divided by three times absolute value of minus three, minus five times absolute value of minus two. Please, you can pause the video for a minute and try to get the value for this. It's a number or fraction. Try to get the value and then you can continue to see the answer and the steps of the solution on the next slide. I think you are ready now. Let's see, the answer you should get is minus 17 over four. This is the solution of example number three. Look here and carefully, half, we leave it. Absolute value of minus half, we know the answer is plus half. But remember, half here is multiplied by, so we have to say half times the half. Also here, plus two, that's plus two in the question. Absolute value of minus two will be two. So that's multiplication here. So that's four. And the absolute value of minus three is three. Absolute value of minus two is two. But three times three is nine down. Five minus two is 10, there is a minus here. 
And then here you need LCD, one over four plus four, multiply by four up and down. So you get 17 over four divided by minus one, which is the same as minus 17 over four. That's the answer. Now, this is try at home. When I say try at home, number six, so you have seen try at home before in the first three lectures. Evaluate the expression. I gave you here x equals minus six, y will be five. Just replace here x equal minus six inside the expression and put y equals five also inside the expression. And be careful here down in the denominator, x, y squared. See the squared on the y, not on the x, because there is no bracket. So you check it yourself, please. And then on the next slide, you find only the answer after I said, do some steps. So the answer you should get is minus one over 50. Now, if you need to see the whole solutions for these triatomes, you have to go to another video on absolute value extra questions. Okay, let's see example 14 x less than or equal to 4, find absolute value of x minus 4 plus absolute value of 4 minus x. What do you think you can do here? x less than or equal to 4. See, it's, it goes from minus infinity until 4. So you have to check now x minus 4. Also, you have to check 4 minus x here. Are these positive or negative. This is the whole idea because we have to use the definition on the uh, second slide, I think. Now, see x less than four, x less than four can be zero, can be minus six. So x minus four here is negative. You see this, this is the reason, that's the condition here. x minus four is negative. How do we know it's negative? given x less than four. You cannot take specific number here. You have to take x in general less than or equal to four. So x minus four is negative. Since it is negative, this one here, this is a. So you should write a minus and then the same expression, minus a. You see, this is a, x minus four. When you simplify here, you get minus x plus four. That's the answer for this. Now look here, four minus x, four minus x, x is less than four, any number less than four. So four minus x is positive. Since it is positive, the answer will be the same here, you see? Absolute value of four minus x will be the same. Same means plus four minus x. Now just add the answers here, minus x plus four, 4 minus x, so it will be 8 minus 2x. That is the answer for this question, example number 14. Now, another try at home. We have some values here in the uh, pi, absolute value, minus 2 minus pi. This is the similar question to the one we did previously. And then the answers are there. So you can check it yourself. Now, some properties of the absolute value, very simple properties. I mentioned here five. The absolute value of A is greater than or equal to zero, which means absolute value always positive. We know that because it is a distance. Now, the absolute value of minus A is the same as absolute value of A. Simple and easy to understand. Absolute value of minus 10, the same as absolute value of 10. Absolute value of minus x, the same as absolute value of x, without even knowing x. Absolute value of a times absolute value of b will be the product here, multiply inside. See, in the product, you can split the absolute value. In the quotient also, quotient means division. If you have big absolute value a over b, a cannot be zero it will be absolute value of A over absolute value of B. Now see the product and the quotient, you cannot apply it to addition. In addition, we have something called triangle inequality, where we have absolute value of A plus B 
less than or equal absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. This is always true. Now, if you put here only equal, it is not correct. If you put only equal here in the last one, it is not correct. So you have to put less than or equal. You can take some examples and try. Now, how to find the distance between two points on the number line? So easy. To find the distance between two points, now not between zero and the point, between two points on the number line, just take the first point minus the second point, the number, and then take the absolute value. You have to take the absolute value. And also the same, you see, look at this here, very nice formula. Absolute value of B minus A also you will get. Take the absolute value, you get the same number. Now look at the important note here. That's a formula now. A minus B in the absolute value, the same as absolute value of B minus A. But remember, A minus B not equal to B minus A. They are not the same. Again, I will say again, A minus B is not equal to B minus A. But in the absolute value of A minus B will be the absolute value of B minus A. And also we know we have mentioned the absolute value of minus X is equal to absolute value of X. Now let's take a simple example. Minus five and eight are two numbers on the number line. You see minus five there on the left and eight there on the right of the number line. Let's find the distance between them. Now somebody will ask, which one is A, which one is B? Minus five and eight. We don't care. You see the answer? We don't care which one is A, which one is B. You can take minus five as A, use this one. You can take eight as B, you can use this one. You can take B minus five, you can take A as eight and you will get the same answer, A minus B. So I took, this is A minus five, minus eight, minus 13, absolute value, 13 positive number. Whatever formula you use, you will get 13 as the distance. Some try at home eight also, I will explain just the idea here. We have absolute value of P squared. Is this the same as absolute value of P all squared outside okay try you have to try you have to use some properties also absolute value of p cubed is this the same as absolute value of p all cube maybe both are correct maybe both are wrong maybe one is correct one is not correct please check and tell me why i put the answers there well both the answers are true now when I finish a whole topic, in this case, four lectures, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, lecture four. In this case, I have four lectures, the same topic, real numbers. Then you will find something called practice number one. So that's, that's similar to try at home. So this is a question you have to try, but we call it practice. It's a little more hard more comprehensive question practice number two i will put five or six you usually find the value of the fraction here you add lcd and then here we have some sets e f and g uh, here we have a prime union b prime the complement you can check the uh, video on the complement on the sets and then you have absolute value here and also replace, here we have six. Most of the time we have five practices. So A is minus three, B is two, C is minus one. Replace all this in this expression. Very nice question here. Two A minus three, big bracket, B minus inside the bracket, two C plus one, all divided by A squared minus B squared plus C cubed, and then uh, you, you can find the answers here. See, this is lecture one, two, three, and four. You can find only the answers. Now, if you need the detailed solution of these six questions, you can check other videos on 
real numbers extra questions okay thank you for watching this video i hope i can see you in another video with another topic so this is lecture four in algebra course you can go now to lecture five if you have some time thank you very much